Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use the test for command. Hope you enjoy. Alright, first things first, you're going to want to enter this command into your text box. And once we have a command block, you're going to want to make a formation sort of like this. Um, that'll just be helpful in organizing what we're doing. But first, this is the test for command. Um, we're going to start with talking about the at E and at A. It's really the only options you have for this. At E is entity. That's talking mobs or um, chickens, creepers, whatever it is, players. Those are all entities, and players are obviously the players. Um, and those are pretty much the only options you have. The next thing is the bracket, and you're just going to want to put a R for radius. And in this case, I did 10. Uh, you can go up to 50, 100, whatever you want. Just make sure there is a radius, because if you don't do one, it's going to test for the whole world. And unless you really want that, it's not very helpful. Um, so I normally keep it around 10, just because my lobbies normally aren't that big. All right, the next thing we're going to talk about is the command block. Just set that to repeat, um, which is constantly repeating unconditional, which just means uh, it won't worry about the block placement. And always active, which means no matter what, uh, being powered by redstone or not, it's always going to run that command. And you can see if I step away, um, it'll stop stencing for me. It says found Pac-Man, so... Uh, you can see that that it's working um, and just to turn that off you're going to want to type in this command right here and that's just going to change the command block outputs so it's not spamming your world with uh, un unhelpful information I, I mean if you you're trying to fix something that could be helpful you might want to turn that on but normally you, you'd want it off uh, the next thing is uh, set up your redstone right like this um, you're going to want to use the comparator um, to take the input from the command block and then just run it run it into a redstone line and then throw redstone torches onto the side and that will um, you'll be able to use the output from those redstone torches um, and now let's go ahead and test it um, I'll just grab like a um, any entity like a salmon uh, and you can place that anywhere just a radius um, of 10 and you can see the torch turns off as soon as I place one here. I'll do a, another one. You can watch it in the corner. So there we go. Three, four. Um, so that's just testing for entities. Also, another thing is this is only going to give you an output of 16 blocks. So make sure you keep that in mind. But you can see that torch going on and off as I leave the 10 block radius. So n now that you have that working, uh, you're going to want to connect it to something like a switch normally i have it connected to a, a button for a mini game it doesn't really matter but um i'm just gonna break it and connect it up to a a button and this is just gonna do uh like test for three players and if three players are in the waiting room or whatever um and within that 10 block radius then it's gonna run a command and i'll set that up oh, we can grab a button stone button probably all right so then you just want to throw a redstone torch at the bottom of each so you can see from the command block uh, i've got three lines of redstone um and that's going to sense for the three players but then you're going to want to put another redstone torch just so it um does the opposite of what everything else is doing switches it back to a normal and then this is just going to teleport the player to Wherever you want, it doesn't have to be this position, you can obviously customize the command block. And this should just teleport us like right over there, uh, hopefully. Alright, so now I'm going to show you what's going on by the command block. We've got the three redstone dust, which means it's sensing for three entities. So if I can just kill a couple of them. Also, don't ever type this command in your survival world because it will kill everything. That's not good. Anyways, we can keep going. Uh, so if I, I'm currently the only entity in this area, so it's only going to sense for one. So if I try clicking the button, it's not going to teleport me because I only have that one redstone dust powered. So I need to power all three of them. So you can probably guess we need to put three entities in here. We do one, it won't work. Uh, we need, we need two, well, total of three, but 
So we click that, it teleports us. Also, another trick I like to do is you just make a command block. Um, one of these, just fill a redstone torch just right in that area. And that way, if there's someone playing the game already, they won't be able to click the button because um, it's clogging it. Even if there's like enough players, they won't be able to go into the game because that redstone torch is there, not letting them. And then once the game is over, you can just have it, just break it, and then they can uh, continue playing with their group or whatever. But that's a helpful trick. And to do that, you're just going to want to get the coordinates of the block, which is 19, 4, and negative 16. It's on the corner. And then you'll just type in this command. Just place that coordinate twice, and that way it'll place it. It won't fill an area. That's how the fill command works. You probably already know how that works, but... Uh, that's what you need to do and then we can try it teleport and then you'll see that that redstone torch was placed and last but not least the um, aesthetic uh, I normally do these light displays and that'll just show you how many entities are in the area um, or players whatever you set it as and that way you can just show people how many people are in the area and you can make the live display um, let me go and set that up real quick all right, so the live display is set up. I did the redstone behind it, and you can see as I lay a fish, you'll see the counter click, and you can see as I go away, come back. So that's all up there. Um, the redstone's kind of complicated in the back, but uh, yeah. I'll just show it working one more time. So I've got three people, click the button, I get teleported, and you can see the redstone torch was placed. So now three people click it again, it won't teleport me because that redstone torch is in the way. And you can cover this up, obviously, in, in the lobby. You wouldn't have that showing, but yeah. So that redstone torch is still there. Um, but anyways, hope you enjoyed that video. Hopefully that made sense to you. Um, if you have any questions, put it in the comments. And yeah. I also have a mini game that I'm going to make a video on pretty soon. So if this is like a week old, then the video is probably already out. It's like a spleef game, and I use this tutorial to make this spleef game. So if you want to see that in action and see how I laid everything out, you can go watch that video, and I'll do a little segment on the redstone behind it. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed.